friends welcome back to arc tutorials this is javascript full tutorial series for absolute beginners in the previous episode we learned how to insert comments in two different ways today we are learning about important very very important very very fundamental concept in javascript which is variables this is part 6 of the series if you have missed out on the first five episodes, make sure that you go and revise them in order to have continuity to your learning. As you can see, I've listed down all the topics that I'll be covering as part of this playlist. Total 43 planned for you. So make sure you bookmark this playlist. <coughs> all right. So today we are learning about JavaScript variables. JavaScript variables are temporary containers for storing information or data. Okay, just think of them as temporary containers. Now you can store any type of data into a variable. A variable can be used to assign value to other variables. There can be any number of variables in a program. Once a variable is declared, we cannot redeclare it, but you can definitely reuse it. Okay, like we can declare it. It's not a problem. I'll show you that also. But ideally, you should never redeclare the same variable again. There are ways you can do that. It's not that it's not possible. It's not encouraged. It's not recommended. Now, there are four ways that you can declare a variable in your JavaScript applications. First way is automatically. Second is let. Third is where using the where keyword. And last is the const. That's the keyword. So, that's a little bit theory. So now you know variables are just temporary containers for storing information. Let's do hands on and learn all the different variations. All right. So I'm going to create, a, we'll use this home.html, nothing in it, just basic HTML template, nothing in it. So I'm going to use internal JavaScript to demonstrate the variables. Now, the first and the most simplest way, ways to declare variables in JavaScript right so <coughs> the first and foremost way number one is don't write any type okay Th which is also called automatically automatically okay. here you'll just write a equal to 10 so what I'm doing is I am creating the name of, I'm creating a variable by the name A and assigning the value 10, all right? Variable will always be, variable name will always be on left side, okay? Value will be on right side, remember this. So when I write A equal to 10, that means I have created a variable and I'm assigning a value 10 and it is automatically creating a variable. That's the most simplest way. Now you can also have something like username equal to. Okay. So these are two examples of how you can automatically declare a variable. Okay. You are creating a variable and you're assigning a value. The second way is through using where. So where is a keyword. Keywords are nothing but some wo some words are there in JavaScript which are reserved for the browser. You can't reuse them. So when you type where and now you give a name of the variable and now you are saying so take a look at it. Now you are saying I am creating a new variable using the keyword where V A R. The name of the variable is user ID and the value assigned is 10. These two, if you look, they're almost similar, except here we have not declared explicitly that it's a variable, but it is understood by JavaScript that it is a variable. All right. So this is way number two. Way number three is to use let. Okay. So what let does is you can write let user city okay so now 
I have created a new variable but now I'm using a new keyword instead of where I'm using let let and there is fourth one which is const const I'm saying address equal to 100 street okay all right so now <coughs> this is how you can declare variables inside your program there are four ways you can directly assign it don't mention anything it becomes a variable second way is to use the keyword var the third is to use the let variable the last is using the const okay so now the immediate question that comes to your mind is what is the difference between var let const where should we use them how should we use them that's exactly what is the topic for the next episode today I want you to understand that how you define variables it can be of different types you can say where is active equal to true <coughs> so see I can assign a number I can assign a string I can assign a boolean right if you are coming from programming background you would also know let's say uh, tax you can assign array right and so on and so forth <coughs> today's topic and today's focus is only to learn how to define variables that's all you should know as in the next episode I'll be covering let after that I'll cover const and then I'll cover the details of how they are different in behavior okay it's very very important now see here I will show you an error before I leave you <coughs> it is not giving any error okay because it will override the value you want to see that let's do that okay so what is the expected behavior I'll comment this for a while and let's go back to our home.html and now you are seeing the value printed is 10 because user ID is 10 I am redeclaring the variable using var keyword and assigning the value 20 so now it is printing 20 because it will override it will override this value write the previous value <coughs> remember the keyword is override so you will never have any instance of this <coughs> because of which you may have some problems in your program so it's always a good idea to never redeclare the same variable now let's see what happens here if I do that see what it is showing it is saying cannot redeclare block scope variable address because it's already defined so you can't define with const so let's see with let this is also giving error right so <coughs> important thing here to note is that you can redeclare a variable either through automatic way like this this is fine through automatic way or through where but never ever redeclare it that's why we use more explicit variable naming using let and const okay so I'll cover all of this detail in the next episode when we do let but today what you're learning is two things to take away one what are the different ways of how you can define a variable and what are the different ways how you can see the output so if there is user ID 20 console.log you should see 20 because it is overriding if you don't override it and print user ID here you will see the value 10 first and then 20 because it comes to this statement the value is 10 it comes to this statement assigns the value 20 now when you print it the value becomes 20 similarly for let and variable also you can print that value again I'm using console log 
and you can see the city name being printed which is here last use address and print it and you can see the address all right so learn how to define a variable how to declare a variable how to assign a value learn different ways of how you can assign the variable try overriding the automatic and the var variables okay because these two i am covering explicitly in the next topic that is javascript let because it will require its own um, dedicated episode to do all the different combinations i'm covering everything from scratch so uh, continue your learning and you will soon be mastering javascript in no time please show some love please do like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode